Hello and welcome to my channel. Go ahead, hit the like, hit the share, subscribe if you haven't already. It's funny that I just re-uploaded my thoughts on how I feel about Disney incorporating the black girl magic theme upon their animated characters. And it's interesting because Riza Islam has been accused of some heinous allegations. Now, if you don't know who Riza Islam is, you might ought to look him up, as so many people have coined him as being the next Malcolm X. And considering that there was this recording that has been leaked that came from what was supposed to be a secret meeting floating around on social media right now, accusing him of R-A-P-E. And what's interesting is that this man has been very influential in calling out a lot of the systematic bullshit that we have been talking about when it comes to Robert Kelly and a lot of these artists in the industry. Now, as we hear about the news and this restitution that has been awarded to these Jane Doe's in the R. Kelly case, let me remind you of some of the things that he also has put in his rhetoric that some people have been offended by. So it wouldn't be far-fetched to recognize that just like most powerful voices, they have an FBI file. And with that FBI file, a lot of people skip past a lot of things that people say that bear some truth that should be explored. Now, maybe it's just coincidence, but after RZA started being very vocal when it came to people like R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and Sony Records, he became a target. People may have forgot how him and his mother were swooped up, caught up in this so-called fraud in which they were saying they were masking this facility as a rehab and also masking abuse stories. But we'll get to that later on in the video. So stay tuned. What? Hey, CP, do you see this? Look, you're finna ain't official Dana J, Levi for Kelly, Prima Donna News, I don't even want to see it. And I saw my family brother reason so I'm here I do not want to waste any type of mental energy on this topic but then again I saw this and that gave me all the encouragement I needed here we go the Little Mermaid the Little Mermaid film came out on November the 13th 1989 and was produced by Walt Disney it was based on the original fairy tale produced by a Danish author by the name of Hans Christian Andersen and it was published on April the 7th 1837 and this is where I hit you with a curveball if you don't mind do you racist white folks you really shouldn't have created that black area with a watermelon because now I'm about to make you eat all your damn words how about we start off with the name Ariel, shall we? The name Ariel is a Hebrew name, which means lioness or lion of God, and the ancient Hebrews were black. And her father was King Triton, who was the son of Poseidon, both of them Greeks. The ancient Greeks were called the Grimaldi, who were West Africans, aka black. Their kingdom was called Atlantica under the Atlantic Ocean, both ruled by King Triton and Queen Athena, both Greeks, both black. Greece is a country in Europe named after the Phoenician goddess Europa, a black woman. Prior to a little over 6,000 years ago, the Caucasian didn't even exist to create any fairy tales. So, contrary to popular belief, this is not cultural appropriation, this is cultural repatriation, and wherever we see anything that belongs to our original culture, we are taking it back. Now pause, and as I said, if you haven't checked out my other upload on Disney and the Little Mermaid, go back and check that video as it will give more depth into this video. So moving on, the reason why I feel like people are missing how they're trying to flip the narrative in incorporating a lot of this black girl magic into Disney now is because there is a lot of people out here that peep game. And even though some don't, we have to be on the front lines making sure people know their history and know when people are trying to rewrite our history and make a mockery of us in the process. Now, in my opinion, the clip that I just shared that RZA put out is the same type of information that I feel that he put out when it came to Robert Kelly and other artists. When he came out here and said, well, hold on. If y'all going to have all this energy for R. Kelly, what about these people? What about this, this, and this? You ain't gonna tell me that you doing all this to resurrect this old ass man act law just to target one specific individual when it applies to so many other freaking people. But a lot of people miss that point of view just like they missed the whole point that I made in saying that it's dumb as hell to say mute R. Kelly 
Forget about all the other contributions this man has made in the music industry as they strategically limit his finances, knowing that they were waging all-out war against him, leaving him defenseless. While the whole world is only listening to what the mainstream media puts out, giving this man this whole cloud of guilt before he had his day in court. The point is just mighty coincidental that every single person that came out and tried to cast a little bit of common sense on this case against Robert Kelly ended up being targeted in one way, form, or fashion. So when it comes to RZA, that's no different. So whether he's guilty or innocent of the current allegations, nobody can actually say. But it is very perplexing for, as I said, a secret meeting to be leaked in the midst of all the things that he has said against this type of allegation. As a part of that, you had someone by the name of David Thorstad, who was the founder of NAMBLA. So you had NAMBLA, gay rights, all coming together. The founder of the gay rights movement used to wear a shirt that on the front, he said gay rights for all equal rights, etc. And on the back, it said NAMBLA walks with me. So he even endorsed NAMBLA, which was the North American Man Boy Love Association, which is men who love boys. They had a combination and a joint movement with the gay rights movement. In fact, as a part of their culture, you have agreements. This is how it was. If you had a boy that you were, you know, having sexual relations with, 12, 13, 14, 15, you'd have to do a number of things. One, you'd have to promise him protection. Two, you'd have to promise that you would educate him. Three, you'd have to make sure that you would always provide for him, whatever that may be. There were actual terms and agreements when it came to you having sexual relations with a little boy back in ancient Greek and Rome. As men, they would actually tie our hands down, spread our hands, spread our legs, and they would physically rape us. Slave masters would rape black men in front of his entire family. Sometimes in front of the whole plantation, they'd bring them all out. The bigger the black man, the stronger the black man, the more they would rape them, the more they would buck them, just to make sure that none of them would be inspired to do anything to fight back. We do the same things with the drag queen reading hour, where grown men dress up as women and they read to Since little everybody's children. Everybody's getting their own sexual orientation. Hell, we might as well get our own. They have petitioned to switch pedophilia to give it its own sexual orientation, like lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, queer, and straight. And so they're switching it into something called pedosexual. They had a TED talk recently in 2018. Uh, in Germany, I believe, where a young lady was promoting, she said, what is pedophilia? She said, it's a normal feeling. According to current research, pedophilia is an unchangeable sexual orientation, just like, for example, heterosexuality. No one chooses to be a pedophile. No one can cease being one. The difference between pedophilia and other sexual orientations is that living out this sexual orientation will end in a disaster. Now, contrary to popular belief, I've said many times why I believe Robert Kelly was the perfect target for these individuals to set out their agenda. And RZA just explained it as well. But a lot of people don't catch certain people's tone or dialect and dismiss what they're trying to say. Basically, what I said was, when it came to the whole Aaliyah situation, a lot of people back in the day like, like to pin these girls up as the Lolita, as we saw demonstrated. And these people behind the scenes, these politicians who make these laws, they're engaging in a lot of shit that they would love to throw on the next person as they get their political favors. There were over a hundred names that came out when the Me Too was at the peak. And you telling me they skim all the way to the bottom and come to R. Kelly. And even to this day, we don't see that same energy across the board.
like even when it comes to the black community, so ready to crown the next king of R&B. But we don't see how hypocritical it is to even throw Usher in the conversation, for example, who was accused of passing out the herpes to multiple people and got his little settlements pushed behind the scenes and nobody talks about that shit. And we can go down the list just to prove it's not an issue of race baiting, it's just a matter of if y'all say y'all want to pursue justice this is wrong this is right i don't understand the selective persecutions so let me just bring this back in full circle same thing like it happened to malcolm x with the man and the get your hand out my pocket it's always somebody that comes into the circle that sets the whole thing on fire I don't know how Solomon made out. I don't know how long he lived, did either. <laughs> and she was killing himself with the thousand concubines. What? I'm not envious of Solomon. And you know, when you understand who a woman is and what a woman is, please, brothers, don't mess with them. Don't mess over them. They are from God. but they can be from the devil if you don't treat them right. Sisters, we're going to get into that September 16th. The sister is charging you, brother, with, with, with rape. That's a horrible charge. But to my sister, you know with yourself. You were engaged to that man. According to what I read. And you allowed him to stay in your house. You allowed him to lay down on your bed. And he laid down beside. What the hell is going on here? And get angry with you because you act like the savage that's just a quarter of an inch under your skin. See you bring the nigga out of us and then act like you did nothing. If you uh, engage, engage don't mean come to my room, get in my bed, and I'll lay beside you and nothing better happens. You're a damn fool. Now, when you started acting up like you wanted something, please, John. No, 
know. <laughs> Stop. See, when you get this nigga up in a man, and you were telling him, stop. Well, what the hell are you doing? Getting me in this condition recently and telling me, stop. You got to be a hell of a man to get that close and stop. Sisters, you need to mind yourself. You want to pull down a good man. Yeah, you got him. But I bet you ain't gonna marry you. Yeah. If you want a man, don't give him a damn thing but the grievance. <laughs> And get the green with your eyes lowered. <laughs> our women are beautiful, man. You you can't get lay beside one of our women. And even the ugliest one you think is ugly. Lay beside and say, no, no, don't do that. <laughs> You better come to the class, FOI class, and learn how to be a good man. So, Brother Rizza, I'm, I very much love you, and I respect the good work that you do, but don't mess it up by being immoral because you're handsome. It's highly intelligent, and you win arguments. Good. But you can't win an argument with God and his law. And you're going to have to answer to the law. <clears throat> now, when I first heard this audio, I was shocked considering it's coming from the person who deemed Malcolm X as a traitor for outing Elijah Muhammad. And then when I look at the circumstances behind all of the things that have come out behind all of these individuals involved, it should be no surprise why individuals, as I suggest, should wait till all of the facts are revealed before formulating an opinion on any topic. With that being said, considering I also mentioned earlier in the video that Riza Islam came under an investigation with the FBI, and though his mother passed, I believe he's still going through those criminal procedures. So, with that being said, it should be not far-fetched to keep in mind the dirty tactics that we know officials use in order to garner these suspect ass indictments that they put out and to garner the convictions they get. So I'll conclude this video with a post shared by Riza Islam himself. In my opinion, it seems to be his rebuttal to the allegations about him current time in which he posts, just watching the same old tactics being used. Lies will be lies. Don't forget to like this video and share it. And if you haven't already, go and check out my site, www.freerkelly.info. Have a good day.